We're going to show you how to stream your Xbox One to any Windows 10 device. We're going to take you through each step in setting up your Xbox One. If you have Windows 10, click on the start button and open up the new Xbox app. With the new Xbox app, you'll be able to browse your friends, see different achievements, your recent games, and so much more. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you have your Xbox One controller, grab your USB cable, and plug it into your Windows 10 device. Now the next step is to connect your Xbox One to Windows 10. We're going to go down here to connect, and what you need to do is manually turn your Xbox One system on. Once your Xbox is up and running, you'll see it added to the list. Just click on connect and you're good to go. Your Xbox One is now all connected to Windows 10. A cool feature lets you adjust the volume on your actual Xbox One. There's also a virtual game controller. Now that you're plugged in and connected, you're ready to stream. Click on the stream button and your Xbox One will connect instantly to your Windows 10 device. You are now looking at my Xbox One dashboard streaming to my Windows 10 computer. Now I could sit anywhere in the house and play Xbox One. While currently you have to play with a wired controller, Microsoft will be releasing a wireless adapter very soon. While I was playing the game, there's some areas where there's some compression, but it doesn't kill the experience. It really all depends on your internet connection, but you could also adjust your stream quality settings on the top right of your screen. You also have the Xbox home button and microphone on off switch. Now if you want to play a different disc based game that you own, you're going to have to swap out the disc. But if you have any digitally owned titles, you'll be able to access any of them without getting up off your butt. This is definitely a major benefit when it comes to digitally purchased games. You could also stream some of the other apps on your Xbox One. While Netflix doesn't stream, I could easily open up YouTube. But these are apps I don't really need if I'm using a Windows 10 device. When you're done streaming, you could easily turn off your Xbox system or just simply disconnect from it. Overall, it's a pretty seamless experience, and this is just the beginning of Xbox streaming. I can't wait to see what other features they add in the future. Now you can play your Xbox One anywhere in the house on a Windows 10 device, and you can let your little sister watch her TV shows. What is your favorite Windows 10 feature? Leave your comment down below, and don't forget to click subscribe. We've got a bunch more videos coming your way, and click on this video to get your first look at the new Xbox One dashboard.